75 knots of wind. It's offshore. We're in the south of France. It can only mean one thing. It's time for the Indian Sky to speed sailing. Part five. So we're on the way to La Palme, the speed strip. We just had a message from Dirk. <laughs> he says the flamingos are struggling to stand up. He said he's nearly blown away. Vilma's probably going to blow away and I'm struggling to drive. The van is getting thrown around all over the place. Is it too windy? We're about to find out. Call this beach. Jesus, it's so windy. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, the, we, uh, the locals here call it now La Palme. For La Palme. me, in the old days, it was La Franqui. Yeah. And then here was more the speed uh, section. Stop. And uh, since the Prince of Speed, they call it La Palme. So we've, we've got to, I can't see. You need to stand like okay, so <laughs> we've had an executive decision that today is too windy. Yeah, today it's too windy. The, the gas going over 70, 75 knots we have already. And the problem is when you lose your gear, it is in Morocco in, uh, in a couple of hours. Yeah. So it's it's very dangerous here eh, because you need to have respect for the nature. You're an open sea here. Jesus. Okay. So there we go. So Jesus, we're gonna call it a day. We're coming back tomorrow. Dirk might have to go home. <laughs> but to be honest, the wind, the wind is coming from Holland, so I'm not sure he's actually gonna be able to get home. I'm, I was like, right, I'm just gonna go, just go sailing. And then I walked down the beach then and I was like, <laughs> I can't walk. <laughs> I, got, I actually haven't got a very, very small sail. I've only got a 3.7 wave sail. But I thought I could put that on the speedboard, but... Just take the towel. It's That's just not open. possible, is it? <laughs> How windy is that? We measured 75 knots. 75 knots. Before there were little holes, but now it's... Oh man, I think it's ever impossible. Looking good. <laughs> yeah, when you daydream a little bit, no, I was thinking. There's a big digger coming and he makes a channel over here, <laughs> downwind, yeah, with that, a big starting area. I did say that yesterday. I think we go much faster. Why don't they just dig a trench over there? Flat as a pancake. Oh, yeah. Like this. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I keep it like this, it's okay. It's changing. You can hold it. Fucking hell. I can hardly see. Yeah. What are you doing? Just moving the van so we don't, um, so it doesn't like, get blown over. <laughs> the, sol the solar panel. Pa the solar panel was having a bit of the, oh, yeah. the, uh, the roof end. I can't even speak. Oh my <laughs> God. Hey, it's so windy. Here he is. Here he is. Oh, here he is. So, what do we do? We go. You we going? Go. You going? <laughs> it was 80 knots before. No. Serious? Yes. Sit. No joke. 75, and then it got windier when you we check? came back. Yeah. Because don't look so. It's not windy now. Oh, yeah, but you yeah, wait. Yeah. Just wait. No, but we were on the road there, and we saw that Trust it was. Uh, no, no, no. I believe. I believe. <laughs> oh, of my course, God. man. It's just crazy. We're gonna see what we do. You think it's sailable? For sure, it's sailable, but. It needs to be good for speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, okay. That's a good point. Is it dangerous? Dangerous? You can actually you can lose your gear. You know, if you uh, you crash or you try to water start and uh, the wind is take, can take your gear and fly away and 
you cannot swim after it because it's going to fly away. And after, the more you go outside, more it's going to be choppy and it's going to be even more hard to uh, water start and come back to the beach. So you really have to uh, hold it. <laughs> yes. I need you to say it's one... It's not a joke. It, it isn't a joke, yeah, but yeah. it is. This is yeah, serious yeah, for stuff. Sure, yes. like but we, we have a jet ski here, so it's good. I don't know who has that. <laughs> this, is, this is the safety. The safety crew's here. We've got about 70 knot, 75 knots gusting 80 before Antoine Albo's just turned up. I just need you to say one thing. It's a pop. It's apocalyptic. It's apocalyptic. <laughs> Tomorrow's the day. But not yeah. that windy yesterday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's a good day. Yeah, it should be. Tomorrow morning should be. Tomorrow's the day. Actually, today's the day. Get out there. Come on. Uh, look, it doesn't look so windy when you. No, see no, it's it's just not that bad now. Yeah, man, we will. Tomorrow you will complain. Ah, not enough, not, not enough. enough wind. <laughs> it's too now. Okay, so that is it. We are not going to go speed sailing today. It's too dangerous. Even the big dog Antoine Albo is not going out. So that means it is crazy. Um. We're coming back tomorrow. Hopefully it's saleable. Getting back down the beach, it looks a lot, at the moment, less windy than yesterday, which does not mean it's not windy. It's probably really windy. Just yesterday was just ridiculous. Um, we're a little bit late. I won't lie, we're about half an hour late because we're meeting Heidi and Vincent down there and they're going to give us the lowdown of how it looks. So that's the plan. Let's see, it looks like it could be pretty nice though. Oops, looks... I mean, I can't see the water yet, but so far, it's actually bloody windy. What am I on about? It's really windy. It was like 70 odd knots of wind yesterday. So obviously sand blows in, things change. And in speed, you don't want to work out what's changed when you're flying down the course at over 40 knots, you know what I mean? You want to find out before. So the idea is you come early. Oh, I tell you what, it has changed. There's, there's a much bigger sandbank now. Maybe it's filled in. Uh, we're going to go and take our own little look. Woohoo! it's windy. It is windy. It's not as windy as yesterday, it's bloody windy. Oh, fuck. Well, to the untrained eye, Things have definitely changed a little bit, or it could be that the tide is further in, but I think we need to catch up with the, uh, the experts. They're already all the way down there, and that's the thing with speed. It comes down to the details. Can't just turn up and go, yeah, all right, let's go. So it looks good though, it looks flat. Reading in between the lines, they're like, yeah, go, we're gonna go, but they can see they're not 100% convinced. We've got 40 knots, 45 knot peaks, and there's sandbanks and weird waves coming in. It doesn't sound great, I've got to be honest. Um, but we're going to go out. Wish me luck. So, big dog just turned up. He's just rigging up. He doesn't even look at the beach. <laughs> He's like, I go. So, that is the fastest man in the world, officially. So, yeah, I think we just go, do we? What are you rigging? 5-2. It's fine. Oh, he's going. He's going. He literally just turned up, opened the van, rigged up, rigging up. I don't know, I don't know what I was expecting, but I, was ex I actually was expecting it to just look more flat. <laughs> That's the trick, is to rig up really slowly. <laughs> And be like, oh, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, I'll catch you up. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming, I'm, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. I've just got to tighten these buttons or something. <laughs> I think that's the trick, like the stall. I'm good at that, that's like my move. In the speed world, it's like rival gangs. Opposite ends of the car park, seeky, secret, sneaky stuff going on over there. Antoine Albo team, Phil Carbon just turned up, the Zephyr boys. And then you've got uh, Vincent Valkner hiding down this end, and then I'm in the middle. I'm like the referee. 
I'll tell you what though, he's just picked up looking at water. Look at that. <laughs> that is windy now, that's over 50 now. I'm actually slightly scared. I'm gonna just rig up very slowly. <laughs> really slowly. Uh, and I, have, I haven't told you this yet. I actually don't have a speed sail. <laughs> so I've got a speed board um, and I've only got a wave sail. But I'm gonna give it a go. I do have like a free race, no cam, for point eight. Thanks to my friend Marco from the Netherlands, you legend. I don't know, I think it might be too windy for that. I might have to go on the 4-2. Um, is it gonna be fast? Well, probably not, I don't know. But I did hear a rumor, some dude from here called Pep, or I think that, he has done 47.78 on a wave sail here. That is insane. I had no clue that someone could go that fast on a wave sail. Is it true? I think it is. Everyone's been like backing him up, saying, yeah, no, he's a genuine dude. So, <laughs> if that's my target, there's no way I'm getting near it. I was hoping to go over 40 knots on a wave sail. I was gonna be happy. Now this guy's just pushed the bar <laughs> so far. I'm like, I'm almost demoralized. I'm like, what's the point? But we're gonna give it a go anyway. So, 43 speedboard, And then, I guess, I've got a four baton sail. I think I might have an Icon, which is a five baton um, four two. I think I'm gonna go for that. Bit more stability, less sort of ballooniness for wave riding, more blasty. It's a prototype well, pre-production. Should be fine. Ready for action. This lady is always ready for action. Let me try, yeah. <laughs> This is uh, stop the sail blowing away. It's what all the pros do. I'm still rigging very slowly. Antoine Albo, big dog, is going to be first on the water. He hasn't checked the course. He's just turned up with the custom board guy, his Zephyr guy, and he's going out and it is cranking. Vincent, he looks a bit apprehensive. Heidi, she's ready though. You going? <laughs> he doesn't look so convinced. He's on the broad wall. Yeah, he's on 5-2. Never checked the beach, just turned up. I mean, that's scary, isn't it? Just to turn up, especially the way... And he ain't going that slow. Oh my God, he is... Well, that's... That's Santuan Albo. He just... It could have just be a total sandbank there, though, couldn't it? Jesus, what a nutter. There was one. <laughs> sketchy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very. Very sketchy, actually. What size are you going on? 5 2. 5 2. 5 2 seems to be the go. Do I look like a speed sailor? <laughs> Step onto the road, what is the rush? If I don't know where to go, I take one step back now. <laughs> they don't see what I see now. I follow suit, don't fold. There's a fire in my bones Can you see 
lay my head to rest, tiptoe round Where I, I feel like a guest Because I'm living in a broken house And my mind has moved out But you don't get me too I've been all along, don't understand What you keep doing wrong I hope you burn down, burn down And know that I am strong enough Oh my god. So, uh, I just got back. Oh, absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. First run, I thought, I'm coming home. I'm so scared. The board wasn't staying in the water. When you've got the wave sail, there's not much as much downforce. So it's like, it just feels sketchy and there was some massive gusts. I'm on 4-2 and I was just getting blown all over the place. I've still got my wave sailing harness lines on and stuff, so I'm still quite far out. But anyway, the wind dropped a little bit. I got a bit more confidence and I couldn't break 40 at all. But then the wind picked up and 41-11. I'm happy with that. I mean, it doesn't sound very fast for the speed guys. They're like, yeah, 41, whatever. I tell you what, it felt like I was doing about 80. 80 knots, I swear to you. I was shitting my pants all the way down. <laughs> Freaking funny, man. Like, you think speed. I actually thought it's not as much fun unless you're breaking your, like, personal best. That was actually pretty fun. My heart was jumping out of my bluffing chest. Um, Vilma's down there trying to film. She's got no protection. She's just standing on the beach getting beasted by like 50 knots of wind. What a top chick. What a top chick. Um, so there we go. Icon, 4-2, can go over 40 knots. 41, 11, top speed. I am not going back out there, I can tell you. That is it for the speed. I saw Vincent Valkmers. I think he went over 50 already. He is an absolute beast. And Heidi as well, just flying. How fast, boss? How fast? Um, 47.3. 47.3, boom! Oh, that's not... Happy with that or not? Yeah. Well, for these conditions, for sure I'm happy. What is this condition? Just to explain to people. Uh, the wind runs quite okay, but uh, the waves and the sandbars are pretty, <laughs> uh, pretty gnarly in some, <laughs> in some parts. Huh? Yeah. Some parts were pretty good. But then after, like, I don't know, one and a half hour, the wind changed direction to more north. And then it gets pretty choppy. Yeah? You have rolling chop yeah. down the course and then it's not possible to go faster. Scary. Yeah. Even more scary with the rolling chop, huh? Yeah, exactly. Samba, rolling chop. Yeah. And waves. And waves. Break! 
think you're going yeah. back out. After maybe when it gets better. <laughs> but now it's too, uh, it's a bit too, too choppy. How fast? 50 knots. 50.3 knots. 50.3. It's quite crazy. Antoine Albo's out there on the old Zephyr thing. He's got a bit top secret, a little bit like, you know, something's going on. I don't think he wants to share the win Seven TV. Okay, I'm going to share with you a little tip. When you come to a speed venue and it's blown 50 knots, always park your van into the wind. That's not into the wind, Adam Sims. If you open that door, <laughs> it's all over. Look, everyone else, park that way. Park that way. Simsy is about to lose the door. <laughs> Shall I call him out? Maybe I should just call him out. Adam, Adam. Come out, mate. No, don't open the door. <laughs> he is going to. <laughs> okay, he already knows. He didn't fall for it. <laughs> I was, trying to, I was trying to get you to open the door. I was just going to show everyone a lesson of how not to park your van. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the thing. We've realised that. But we wanted the view. And so yeah. you guys, um, I don't know. What was it? <laughs> it's terrifying, I can tell you now. You have all these plans in your head. And then you get to the water and the friggin' the sand that's coming off the beach is like needles hitting you in the face. So you're like, you can't even see. And then you get up and everything's wrong because you haven't tested it yet. So then you freaking try and test it. And then you're going down the course going, is that a sandbank? Is that a, is that a sandbank? And meanwhile, you're doing oh, well over 30 knots on your test run just to see. And then you have to come back upwind and then you have to go, okay, I'm gonna go fast. And then you go fast and you think, okay. And then the gust, you see like, flying off and you think oh I'm gonna hit that soon and then you hit it and on a wave sail I can tell you now it's not stable so you're like Whoa -hoo -hoo! oh man and you're passing people because people are walking back so you can see their faces looking at you like oh god is he okay does it feel imagine you're like Alibaba going down the line full speed is it a lot faster than that like 40 knots plus <laughs> Yes, I, guess I, I, guess I can I need tell to, you now. I need it to is, watch the video, no? It is absolutely terrifying. There's no other way to describe it. So I should take your speed gear and go for a run. Go, yeah. go, all right, go. I'll try to switch. Guess it's a challenge. Do you won't. <laughs> you won't. Everything you think you're gonna do, you don't. You don't. Okay. I think there's a famous saying from Mike Tyson, isn't it? Go. You have a, everyone has a plan till you get punched in the face, and it's like that with speed saying. <laughs> Oh man, honestly, uh, well okay. fun though, <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> That's it. I think everyone's packing up this. It's too dangerous now. The wind angle's changing. Very choppy on the course. Um, so I think we're done. That is it. We're going to head off to the PWA now. So uh, stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe. And if you do like these sort of videos and you want to help keep the whole Windsurfing TV program going and the girlfriend in wine, you can chip in some wine money. We're changing it from beer money to wine money. <laughs> Links below. Go on. Coming, I, think. I think she's tried to come Trying. as well. <laughs> <laughs> I have one thing to say. Pozo is very pleasant. <laughs> oh, I love Pozo. I love Pozo. I never say bad things about Pozo again. <laughs> Okay, it's windy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>